Good morning, guys. Good morning, wonderful people of God. How are you this morning? It is raining and it is beautiful. I love the rain. Um, guys, today this topic, again, I think I talked about this before, um, the narcissist and the new supply. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we ask that you for first forgive our sins, our trespasses, and our shortcomings, God. We just thank you for the early morning rise, seeking you, um, hearing your word, not only just hearing your word, God, but being doers of your word. God, touch our hearts, touch our minds, um, redeem our minds from the tormenting spirits of the trauma bond that we uh, faced with people, places, and things and demonic spirits, God. We thank you for loving us enough on this day to wake us up early to seek you. God, we honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. So, okay, guys, we are going to be talking about the new supply. So, I always say this. First, we have to, I'm a realist, guys. Let me just start by saying that. I'm not in denial about anything I did in life and anything um, that I did that contradict God's word. I never was the type of person to, if I did it and God's word said it was wrong, it was wrong. I never um, tried to put God's word on my sins, if you understand what I'm saying. Um, so the narcissist in the new supply. One thing, this is like a hot topic for people um, that dealt with a narcissist. Guys, and I get it. Um, we wonder if the narcissist is treating the new supply like they treated us. So then we have to talk about treated us good and treated us poorly. See, we still stuck on that first high of that that, that love bombing phase. We're still stuck on that. We are not worried if the narcissist treat is treating the new supply horrible like they treated us horrible. We are so focused on the love bomb. Is the narcissist treating that new supply good like they did us in the beginning? Guys, for me, the love bombing went out the window once I realized the narcissist, basically, if I could be frank, wanted to kill me. So it, it changed my views of the new supply. Guys, truth, some of us won't begin to heal until we begin to pray um, for the new supply and pray for the narcissist. The word of God says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, rulers in high places, um, darkness, meaning the evilness, the demonic spirit. Not saying you're praying for the new supply to come back to you, but the new supply is, I mean, or the, the narcissist is a soul. However, it's up to God to deliver or not. God know the depths of a man's heart. I was reading Ephesians 5, 8 through 12. Um, I need you guys to really, really go and read that. Again, that is Ephesians 5, chapter 5, verse 8 through 12. And I'm paraphrasing it. It just basically talked about, we was once in darkness, but when we came into the light, what affiliation do we have with darkness? basically the narcissist and then it says in verse 11 that we are to reprove them in some versions it says we are to expose them um and then in verse 12 it talk about what a disgrace it is for the things that they do in secret and i'm putting this um, to the narcissist because of the demonic spirit of Leviathan that they are dealing with. It, it, 
And until this day, guys, it still amazes me that a person can really be so evil. It doesn't even have to necessarily be a narcissist that you're dealing with. It could be a loved one. It could be a friend whose heart is so jealous of you. For whatever reason, you can never fathom why. It's their own torment. Of, of, of what what do you do there is nothing that you could do so getting back to the new supply guys we was once new supply again when we was the new supply some of us didn't know who what where when why about the narcissist we learned about the narcissist's ways, who they dealt with once we got in a relationship with them. Yes, you do have some new supply who always knew of you and who wanted a part of the narcissist because um, they thought the narcissist was just so extravagant and wonderful with you because of who you are. So the new supply that knew that who you were and be, didn't know that you was fly already. Didn't know you was a person, a woman, a man of God already. Didn't know that you came anointed already. This is why the narcissist wanted to take you out. But for those of us who did not know anything about the narcissist, who the narcissist was dating, um, that he dated or that she dated a lot of men and women, that they were perverted, that they were even dealing with this spirit we once was that new supply. So here it is now we're old supply worrying about the new supply when before we was the new supply and their old supply was worried about us. Guys, once again, I'm telling you our healing is going to come go come by praying. The Bible said, bless those who curse you. Um, do good to those that despitefully use you. I have to live by that, guys, because I I don't want to be free. I need to be free. It's a big difference. I need to be free um, so I can do and go and be the person, place, and thing where God will have me to minister to his people. So guys, the new supply have not even faced probably the torment that they are going to face. They have to, with the new supply, once the narcissist has discarded us and, and, and during the discarding that he did with us or she did with us, they were already going to begin to groom the new supply. But guess what, guys? The new supply don't know anything about us but what the narcissist lied and told them about us. So like us, the narcissist lied on us to the new supply um, to make the new supply feel like they have to be in competition with us as they did us. Oh, the new, the, my ex didn't do this. My ex didn't do that. So again, I said this previously, we felt like they didn't do that. And this man is so wonderful. And this woman is so wonderful. So guess what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to make sure I don't slack in areas that the ex slacked in. This is what we did. If we could be truthful. And it's the same thing that the new supply now is doing. Oh, but baby, when they begin to face that turmoil, that discard, and that trauma bond, the new supply is going to want to reach out to us to ask, did we go through this? But because in fear, they don't know who we are or our ways, will we tell the narcissist? Will we even tell them that we did go through this? Would we even speak to them? Trust you me. The narcissist talked about us so bad. It made the new supply hate us. Because the narcissist appeared to the new supply as this knight in shining armor. And guys, remember, we was once the new supply who the narcissist um, 
presented themselves as the knight in shining armor as well. Again, the Bible said, beware of wolves in sheep clothing. God is never going to allow us to go through things that's basically not for us without showing us signs. Again, the, nurse, the, the new supply, trust you me, is getting signs like we did. But guess what we did? We ignored it. So guess what the new supply is doing? Ignoring it. Thinking that they can handle it. So guys, I urge you to pray healing for the new supply. I urge you to pray that the new supply get out of that trauma bond with the narcissist um, worse than what we went through. Each level for the narcissist, each new person for the narcissist level a trauma bond is worse because first of all they they're mad at the old supply because we got away so they got to make somebody pay you understand what i'm saying that spirit has to make somebody pay anytime a demon do not um be successful in an assignment from hell they also be tortured the Bible says that, let me let me just explain this to you guys. And I think I said this in the last video, but it's some things I will reiterate. Um, the battle is not between Satan and God. <laughs> guys, we serve a God that already won. The battle is, is, is with God's creation. This is how Satan try to hurt God through his creation which is man how do I know the battle is not with Satan and, and God because the Bible says that in Revelation in the end Satan and hell will be cast into the lake of fire guys it's already written that Satan has lost so his job is to mess with God's creation, mess with our mind, and mess, make us want to turn against God because we now we don't put ourselves into something that God said no, that we ignored, and now we're in it. Um, now we want to say, God, where are you? Me, I did that. God, where are you? I don't feel you. God, this can't be you. God said, I told you it wasn't me. So there's a, a, a price that we have to pay people of God from for being disobedient to God. God loves us so much. His desire is that no man perish. Guys, God did not create hell for us. It was for Satan and his demons. But the devil already know He's going to the lake of fire. So he like, yeah, <laughs> these men that you created, these humans that you created and made them a little lower than the angels, the word of God, made them a little low in, in, lower than the angels. God, I'm going to prove to you that they don't love you. The devil only can enhance how we feel. But God gave us the power and authority to speak those things that be not as though they were. Guys, start speaking. I am healed. My mind is renewed. Satan, get behind me. You cannot have me. What shall separate me from the love of God? Guess what did, guys? The narcissist. That spirit. That spirit of Leviathan. Oh, but when morning came, loves it was a new day of grace and God has redeemed us out of the hands of the enemy God has heard our cry so guys yes pray for the new supply don't be envious of a person dating a demon don't be envious don't feel so bad that you lost something 
that you may mis mistakenly feel like you want back because of the love bombing. Guys, it was all a lie. The love bombing was all a lie. Because guess what? If we be real, the level of love bombing we faced was the level of torment that we faced, guys. I don't wish this pain. I don't wish the trauma bond. I don't wish the tormenting spirits of thinking about them on nobody. I don't. I, I'm in a place... I don't. I used to feel like, oh God, is he treating the new supply better than me? What could I have done different? Guys, there was nothing that you could have done different. There was no love that you could have overshadowed him with. There was no meal that you could have cooked for him and her or her. There was no whining or dining um, at any fancy restaurant that you could have made this narcissist love you. Or there was nothing that you could have done to prove in your love to the narcissist because the narcissist cannot receive love. That's like trying to love Satan. And the Bible says that Satan is the father of lies. He come to kill, steal, and destroy. So there was no level of prayer, of love, of nothing that you could have given to the narcissist to make the narcissist realize that you love him because it was a demon. Guys, there was nothing. You loved right. You gave right. You had compassion right just for the wrong person. So now the person that God is going to send for you, we got to pray that we don't become bitter. That we don't become the narcissist, have the narcissistic tendencies and ways because of our hurt from the narcissist. No, guys, because we don't want to miss the blessing that God has for us. We don't want to miss kingdom that God has for us. Because the enemy deceived us out of our joy. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Pray always. Repent always. Guys, if you didn't see the dream that I posted, please go back in the feed on YouTube and look at the dream of God told me um, what was to come and that his people need to brace themselves in prayer. Please go back and look um, for the dream. I don't know what November hold, but God, we got to get our hearts together. We have to. It's a must. We have to get our heart together and forgive. And, 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 and if you are weak, the word of God said, look to the hills from which cometh your help. The help comes from the Lord. If you need strength, the word of God said, my strength is made perfect in our weakness. So guys, see, we got help. We just have to utilize God's word. We got help. So guys, I love you. Be safe. And remember, today is a good day. To have a great day.